but here chapter 79 verse number 27 28 29 30, you can read it all it says here that Allah he finished the sky he rise it up he gave it the lights the day and the night and then after that the here this says and moreover the fact it doesn't say more moreover in Arabic it says well ardu ba'da dhalika dahaha ba'da dhalika which means after that anyone who speak Arabic he knew that this is what it's meant change the translation Look how the thing it changed, and then the and the and the earth after that he expanded. So he finished the whole sky first. He made the day, he made the night, which means the light. You know the the lamps, the stars. He raised the sky high. He made the lights. He made the days, which mean the light for the earth, the stars, the sun, and then after that he made the earth flat. And then after that he brought the water and then after that he put the mountains if you go in Quran chapter 41 the story is different and different from chapter number two let us go to 41 and you will see here tell them O Prophet do you indeed disbelieve in him and a sign compares to him who created the earth in two days? He is the Lord of all being in the universe. And then after that, creating the earth, he set up the mountains. Okay, that's nice. And he put all the substance of the earth or the substance of the earth in four days. So now we have two days here, four days here. And then after that, he went to the sky and he finished the sky. But in the chapter 79, it's the opposite. It is totally the opposite. After that, he went to the sky and he made them seven skies. And then, then he made them seven heavens in two days and he put and he made the lamps. But in chapter 79, Allah, he made the sky first. The lamps second. After that, he moved to work in the earth. After that, he made the, the water and the substance. After that, he placed the mountains. Have you ever heard of a God? He don't remember which one he created first. We have a person his name is Ishmael. He says, I am deceiving people. My friend, call me and prove me wrong. Here we go. We are live and we are showing the evidence. Guys, am I showing you in the screen what I'm talking about or I'm making things up? Call me. Show me. Silence me. Why you don't call me Ismail? I'm showing both. Here we go chapter 79 and chapter 41 you know what i will do this i will open them in two windows next to each other <coughs> two windows let us do that <coughs> so people will see the two chapters together in one line in one page all right all right here we go so look at this I will make the screen big so everybody can see And I challenge you to say to me, I'm lying. Keep your word. Keep your word and prove me wrong. Is it showing both guys? 
Is it showing both? Okay. So this is a chapter 79 in the left. In the left side of the screen is a chapter 79. Look what it says. Are you harder to create or the heaven he made it? He raised it high and then, then he put it into right good state. And he made dark and night brought out its light. And the earth he expanded after that. Okay, so now we hear from this chapter we learned that Allah he finished everything in the earth and then that sorry in heaven and then he went to the earth and he started working in the earth and then he put the water and then he put the mountains and then he created the cattle as you see in this chapter it's the opposite read with me carefully <laughs> Tell them, O oh Prophet, do you indeed disbelieve in him and assign compared to him who created the earth in two days? After creating the earth, he set up firm mountains. Hold on. So the first thing is created is the earth. And then the second thing, what? I want you to take notes. The second thing is the mountains. The third thing, he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke. And then he then he turned to the heaven while it was a smoke, which means it was nothing. He said to the heaven and the earth, come to me, willingly or unwillingly. And then after that, he made the sky, seven sky. And then after that, he made the lamps. So the last thing, Allah, he created the lamps, correct? Let us go back to this verse. When Allah, he made the lamps, he made it right away from the beginning. Read carefully. Are you harder to create or the heaven? He made it. He raised it high in height and then he put into lights. He would go the lamps. So this is the second thing he, he created. And then he made the dark and the night. So we have we have uh, we have the sun. And then after that, he start working in the earth. <laughs> and you are telling me I'm lying? Isn't it clear, guys? What you, what you are saying to me? No, no, call me so everybody can laugh, everybody can see it. It's next to each other. What is the first thing Allah He did when He created the Quran says in chapter 2 the earth? Okay, forget about that. The earth is created first, no problem. But which one Allah he finished first in chapter 79 Allah finished the sky first and then he went to the earth and he started working in it as you see in chapter 41 Allah he started working in the earth and at the end he worked in the sky and at the end he worked in the stars What do you want more than this proving that Islam is a false religion? So why you don't call me Mr. Ismail and prove me wrong? Everybody is watching. This is this is God. He cannot remember what he created first. Yes, Ahmed. Uh, hello. You hear me, Ahmed? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, right. Did, yeah, you, see, did you see the screen? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. what do you think? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, this is a big thing. Like, I can't uh, be on a religion like this, to be honest. So, you know, obviously, this is uh, this is not going to be from God, correct? Yes, uh, you, if God, I uh, mean, Allah also states a verse. I don't know where exactly. I know where it is. Uh, no, no, the verse about uh, you won't find any contradiction. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one, actually. Yeah. 
it says if, if this is this is not from Allah it's the one yes. you're talking about yeah so uh, why they cannot and uh, you know uh, deal with the Quran because if this is he is saying if this is not from Allah it will find a lot of contradiction and you just saw yourself it's a clear you speak Arabic they can yes, uh, I, they can uh, deceive in a translation try to fabricate to lie to us but in Arabic it's so clear well thank you for showing me the truth <laughs> So what do you say, uh, Ahmad? Are you going to leave uh, Islam? Uh, well, uh, uh, can can you can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, you were a Muslim before, right? Oh no! I think no, I read that. No, I wasn't. No, oh, and I, I, okay. I, I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second. Sorry to say that. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not trying to insult well, you. You are, you are born from a Muslim family. I, I understand. Smart. I'm not insulting you, but I'm too smart uh, to be a Muslim for a second. Okay, okay, and you are young, you know. I mean, uh, and you're a when I was in your age, I was trying to uh, search in too. So, you are in the beginning, and you are smart to uh, at least you are honest and you are uh, uh, still in the beginning of your life, and you can make decision right now. And this is why I'm saying to you, you know, you have to make a decision in chapter four, yeah. verse number 82. It says, If this is not from Allah, you will find a lot of uh, uh, contradictions. Well, Allah Himself, He said that to us. How you know that yes. it's from Allah if there is contradiction and this is obvious I mean this is a clear like like the Sun yes but you know in Islam when you leave Islam you become more I don't know if you know what that my means. friend explain to your family explain to your mom let them see I mean more uh, which one is better to be a more or to be a donkey all your life yes yes you have a point. <laughs> I mean, come on you know okay more Ted more Ted I better be more Ted but not to be stupid my friend and you are smart and then this and you can I can tell you are coming from a good family you are polite I can tell the way you are talking to me your parents are good people I can tell they are not uh, savage people and uh, you know uh, 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 I can feel inside you you have a good spirit so what is going to stop me from leaving such a stupidity I mean uh, uh, what because just my parents are Muslims I will say okay I'm going to stay Muslims even though I don't believe in it this is hypocrisy you know yeah. imagine this Ahmad imagine I stay as a Muslim, but I don't believe in Islam and yet Allah will take me to heaven if Allah take me to heaven And yet I don't believe in Islam. That's mean Allah is a stupid too <laughs> Correct <laughs> Like you like now he know that you don't believe anymore Okay in your heart and he knew that he got busted and yet still he will take you to heaven just because you stay as a Muslim That's me stupid Yes, yes, <laughs> dude, uh, I, I need to say this you are so funny <laughs> Like your laugh just change the mood of a person, so um, uh, I'll uh, I will think about it. No, no, my sure. friend, don't think, don't think. Stay as a Muslim, so Allah we can give you an endless penis. <laughs> 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 and women, their ass is one mile. Imagine, guys, I go to heaven of Allah. Here we go, Christian prince going to take shahada. He go to heaven and uh, uh, Allah he called Christian prince. Hey, Christian prince, I have a reward for you. I have women, they have half one mile ass. I mean, that is a reward or this is a punishment. What if she jump in the top of me? One mile ass, what I will do with her ass? I mean, I'm going to have a like World War II. I'm, I'm going to order my wives to bend over and fart at my enemies. Why in the world the wife, she have one mile ass? <laughs> so, you know, to be to be part of this cult, I mean, you you have to kill your, your your brain. You have to kill it. You have to put it in drugs. You have to take cocaine and heroin, and you know, I mean, that's crazy. Okay. Um. So so you so you believe in the Trinity, of course, right? Yes. But before we talk about anything, I want you to say to me that you are out of Islam. I'm not punish. I'm not uh, forcing you. I want to hear it before we change the topic. If you want to talk about Christianity, for me, I don't talk about Christianity with someone he is brainwashed with such a, bo a stupid book because there's no point. Okay, okay. Are you out of Islam, my friend? Yes. I mean sure. to that. Hallelujah. I mean to that. We are happy for you, uh, Ahmad, that you decide to leave Islam. And we pray that the Lord will open your eyes and will light your heart to find what is right for you. Regardless if it's Christianity or not Christianity, let us pray that may the Lord open the eyes of this man, this 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 gentleman, to find the truth wherever it is if it's not the Christianity then let it not let it not to be Christianity if it's Christianity then it's Christianity 
the truth my friend is what we are seeking and we pray that you will be guided and you will find the truth what is your question for oh. me Ahmed? okay so um you believe in the trinity okay so i find it really confusing no it's not confusing very it's very easy you see the trinity is around us and everything you, you have a family right uh, I'm, I'm sorry what uh, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 you have a family like me right you have a mother and father right yes and you are the son right okay okay so God he everything he created have his fingerprint in it and when we say his fingerprint is design everything is designed based on the Trinity what is the a source of life for us we as a human what we need uh, we need food of course no, no, but, but food will not come unless there is something else food come from something else if we don't have Sun there's no food if we don't have water there's no food oh. correct so the Sun the Sun is a reason for the food to exist the the, the green the green grass is the source of all food or let us say even the, the little tiny one in the water this is the one who provides us with everything but the Sun is coming and when the Sun come down to the earth what 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 does Sun bring with it do you know the Sun is staying in the sky right the Sun stay there as a star yes but what come to us from the Sun uh, the uh, you know my English is not very don't good worry, don't worry my English is not good too you know are you once <laughs> once I went to a chat room and uh, I said to them, you know, I, I said to them uh, like, hello, guys. And they, they, yes. they kick me out and start calling me names. And I go to the second chat room and I say, hello, guys. And they kick me out and they call me names. And the third chat room, the first chat room, I mean, I said, what's wrong with those American? And later I found that I was writing the word guys wrong. I was saying, hello, gays. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, nothing, nothing wrong. I mean, uh, uh, what a big deal. So I, instead of saying to them, hello, guys, with my funny English, I was writing down, hello, gays. And whatever I go in chat room, I say, hello, gays. And they bounce me. Stupid idiot, get out of here. Blah, 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 blah. Like, what's wrong with those people? What I did? I feel like, like, what the heck? What's wrong with those crazy? You know, why they are discriminating me? I just say, hello, guys. And, you know, I found later that I was saying, hello, gays. So don't worry about your English, my friend. Uh, so listen. The sun is right in, yes, in, yes, in the, the sky. The, the temperature. The temperature and the light. And the light, yes. Okay. Now the sun is a sun, correct? Yes, of course. And the light is a light. Okay. And the heat is a heat. It's mm. it's a physical thing. I'm talking. I'm, I'm comparing to 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 a spiritual thing to a physical thing, just to make you understand. So. Okay. This, all of them we say this is the Sun but in fact it is a three in the same time it's one so we say God oh. we say God the Holy Spirit is is someone we don't see it's a spirit which warm our heart and guide us and be with us it is invisible the light is visible and that is the Messiah this is why the Messiah he says I am the light of this world and God, oh, okay, he okay, is wait, in wait, heaven. Uh, our Father, we call uh, him our Father. So the same Son, can, we call it the Son. Can can you just repeat the last sentence? Light, light is something okay. we see, and that is the Messiah, the Christ. Mm. He is the light of the world. He is the one who came to teach us. He is the one, and the Bible says everything was created by Him and for Him, and He is the Word of God. How we know God by His words, right? Of course. Okay. So, the Messiah is the visible image of the invisible God, as simple as that. So, that is called the Son. He is a person by himself. He is the Messiah. And the, the Word of God became a man, not the man became God. We, we Christian, we don't believe that there's a guy, his name is Jesus, and then he became God. No. We believe God, he came to us, the Word of God came to us and appeared in an invisible image of a man. For the invisible God, God, he humbled himself and he took the image of a man. And that is the word of God. The same as the sun, it come with the light. And the light, it take a physical, you know, let us say, uh, uh, existence. The light is, uh, the light even you can burn things with it, correct? 
it's a very powerful energy it's not just a light you make you see correct yes like you know if you have laser you can even destroy things burn them destroy them badly and the light is the source of all the food in the earth but if there's no heat if there's no heat the light itself is not is not really will not do much the heat the, the heat we have like now in in usa uh, last week we have like minus uh, 30 minus 40 crazy why because the sun disappeared from us for a few days we have a wave coming from uh, 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 from the north pole so imagine if the sun is not it disappeared totally from the whole earth for like 50 days the earth is dead yes you know? we, we would be dead yes absolutely we will freeze it doesn't matter how much you try to and there's no food that's it the source of food will, will, will disappear so the trinity is the about the perfection of god how god he presents himself to us is not about me i choose god to be in three it's not the christian says okay let us make god a three person no this is how god he is and this is how god he thought about himself so what we will say to god we like you to be different but still he is a one god god he per, you know in a, he present himself or let's say we may he make us recognize him in three person because god mm. is, a, is a miracle and nobody we cannot we cannot really uh, we cannot describe god i mean if if uh, uh, you know you go you, you go and you see a mountain you, you you get amazed how beautiful it is you see a valley you get amazed how beautiful it is you go to the sunset you you are amazed so what about god the one who created all, all the things so we cannot describe god by two words so when we say the trinity it is just a description of how God he taught us about himself he is he he come to us in a three person the father the son the Holy Spirit the Messiah in this earth he is the son the Spirit of God is with us the Messiah he says every two of you mention my name I will be between them which means I will be the third so uh -huh. the perfection of God is proven always even by the Trinity even if you are not a Christian even if you are a Buddha even if you are an atheist you will find have you ever heard of something called the golden ratio uh, no the golden ratio is about the beauty which means everything is designed one to two is a beautiful the windows the doors everything is in the in this world is made of one to two the trees so everything around us is based on number three uh, Okay, so okay, for, uh, for so for the, the Trinity is not really is is not uh, is not really confusing. I mean, this is how God He is, and still for us as a Christians, uh, we cannot describe God enough because we are using a language, and there's no word can describe who and who is you know His glory. But God, He humbled Himself. He came to us as a man. His name is the Messiah. But yet, even He, as a man, He was amazing, wonderful. And this is why nobody can accuse Him of sin or take Him down because of His sin. You see, when we debate with Muslims about okay, Jesus, um, the Muslim deb we debate them about Muhammad being a child molester. The Muslim debate us about Jesus being God. This is how, how good is Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> nobody dare to debate about Jesus if He's bad or or good. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Can, uh, nobody can, can say it's can bad. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. Uh, if, if if I need to search reading, uh, what what do you suggest? You search what? Re start reading. Yeah, you, you know, I advise you yes. to read the, to re read the New Testament because the Old Testament is uh, uh, is more complicated. Need like it's a because the Old Testament is a history about Israel and uh, Moses and and etc. The New Testament is a lot lighter to understand and it's for me it's a lot more important than anything else because the messiah this is the messiah he came you see the jews they were waiting all the prophets before jesus they were preparing for his coming yes, so yes the I old testament that. is important i'm not saying it's not important it's extremely important but everything is like you know we have uh, we are building an airport the whole purpose of the airport is not the airport it's the one who is going to land in it you know what I mean? Yes. So the Old Testament is like the airport, God preparing, our Father preparing for the Messiah to come. All those prophets who came before is to prepare for him his coming when he it is time for him to come. So and he came. So for me, it's important to know about the Old Testament. But for you as a person who is beginning in the beginning to learn about the Messiah, I advise you to start reading uh, the, the, the New Testament. You can pick up any Bible of those, the four, 
and you start reading them and there is interpretation in the in the in the in, in the internet uh, for every verse every verse you can search for okay this, you know. so uh, so the New Testament is Luke uh, mark it's four books uh, four books yes uh, only four books okay yes, the New Testament no the, the the four Bibles but inside them there is there's a, other written like you know revelation etc but there are four four Gospels okay, okay, yeah, okay. yeah four witnesses four witnesses give us an, a perfect image and you know the the good thing about having four witnesses is uh it's like you know if you you go to school and i put a picture in front of the student and i say to them i want every one of you to write down in the paper what you see in this picture you will see each one of them he will write different description even though they are looking at one picture is that correct yes why yes, of course because even though it's the same image the same it's a picture it's not even moving still everyone he will describe something the other one maybe he did not describe so it is it was the inspiration of god to make it in four witnesses so they can complete each other this is why somebody might say to me say to me why it is not saying exactly here this in the verse what it says there it should not say that because simply uh, there are four witnesses and they are because if the if if the if your book of John is exact copy of the book of Mark, then they would not need the book of John, mm. right? You know what I mean? Then we cannot call it the yeah. book of John. We then we call it only the book of Mark because that's it. Mark, if if this is the same word, so what the point? So they are they complete the image and they complete the the, the understanding for us as a Christians. Uh, I believe we have a brother here. When I call us, let us see somebody here. Uh, oh. yeah. yeah. Hello. Uh, 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 Ahmed, you, you wanna you wanna stay? Uh, uh, we have. Uh, 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 I I need I need to go, but thank you very much for your time. All right, my friend. My mom's and, calling me. All right, my friend. Call me anytime you want. If you have a question, I will be happy to 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 uh, to answer you. And I'm happy that you decided Thank to do this. Thank you story. very, 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 very much. All right. Okay, well. Take care. And this is why we say it's very important for us as a Christians to not to be angry from the Muslims, calling them names. As you see, this this uh, this gentleman, he is in the front door of the Messiah, and soon he will knock at his door, and the Messiah, he says, knock, and I will open for you. Today, he decided to leave Islam. And as I heard from him, he's from a Shia family. Happy for him. And soon he will be the good seed in his household. And God knows how many people he will bring out of this cult. So it's very important for us as a Christians to always have the spirit of the Messiah. Yes, sometimes me, myself, I get angry. But nothing wrong with being angry, but don't be hateful. You know what I mean? Sometimes you are angry why people don't understand. Sometimes you get angry why people they are doing uh, uh, not what expected. Like, you know, and the other day I said we want to have more viewers and people they start calling me names. And yet they call themselves Christians just because I said I didn't, you know, we deserve more. Instead of appreciating what we are doing, some people start calling me. So that make me angry, but then I have inside me I have the love of the Messiah and I'm not going to hate anyone for putting me down I know what I'm doing I trust who I am I'm confident in my faith and let people say whatever they want to say always remember that when you answer a Muslim you are trying to be an ambassador for Christ so don't use the effort otherwise you are no Christian if a Muslim he is being filthy and you answer in a filthy way, that's when you are both is a same, you belong to the same God. You belong to the same God because if your God is the Messiah, you will not use the effort and answer him using the effort unless you made a mistake and you repent. So if we go down to the level of the devil and we speak the same level, that's mean we are no better. We always 
we have to we, we have to have the spirit of Christ in order to be it's like you know I don't know how to explain to you uh, sometimes we have to use some images to to uh, to explain things like imagine you have a light and you have electricity but you don't have a switch or you have a switch but you don't have electricity and you have a light I mean you have the lamp okay the, the light will not come on even you have a lamp and you have a switch so in order to 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 make the light happen you have to have all the requirement and the requirement of Christ is the first is to forgive and to love Well, if uh, Sam he wanna call, he can call me. He knows my Skype. He do not need invitation. Actually, I receive already in Skype many messages of people leaving Islam, and I'm happy for them. Look at this beautiful message I received before I start my broadcast today. I'm not going to show a name for the security of the person. But this is what this person he said I love watching your debate I think you are special not everyone blessed with this I put you on my prey a Holy Spirit always etc but let's see the other one uh, I pick up the wrong uh, message there's the one who left Islam let us see which one where is the person You know, because you get too many messages, it's hard to even find out which one is the one who left Islam. Here we go. Hi, sir. I am from Indonesia. I want to leave Islam because of you. I have to admit that the Quran full of errors, so it cannot be from the true God, Muhammad, and Muhammad did many stupid things immoral. And I said to him, happy for you, my friend. And this is right before I start. As you see, it's what was 8, uh, 842 in my time. So people are leaving Islam, not because, you know, they notice that here there is honesty. They are not lying to us. In the beginning, a Muslim will be upset, will be angry. It's fine. That's a good sign, actually. A person who got... He have a jealousy. He is a good person at the end of the day. He's not a bad person, especially if his jealousy is about the truth. He think he have the truth. Give him a chance. 